Hey everybody, welcome to Dot Hack GU Last Recode. So we'll kick off with Volume One Rebirth. Haven't ever played this before, so what? Yeah. I tried doing this on my other machine, but apparently this is a bit of a janky, unoptimized port. So, even though I had the specs for it, it just was unoptimized as shit. So it had a frame rate of about pea soup. But hey, now we got even more power. So it shouldn't be an issue. I've never had a chance to play any of the Dot .hack games before. When the first one came out, someone I knew had it, but they were an asshole and they would never let me play it. So, it was sort of just like, eh. And then my PS2 got stolen. So. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. Now, I have been told by Spets that the, uh, <clears throat> the, the GU games are actually really good, so I'm looking forward to this. That and I'm also coming off recording two Sword Art Online games. I don't know, I'm kind of on a on a kick with the VR thing right now. <laughs> Hey, it has an actual frame rate. Holy shit. This is how this is supposed to move? Does that mean people won't be talking like they're stoned? Wow, this is cool. It works! Hey. Hey, you. You, the adept rogue. Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes, and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh... All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are... short email addresses that... you can only use in the world. Short mail allows you... to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. Oh, I just was saying, pressing Y. There we go. All right, you items, equipment. Oh. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. Okay, let's have some fun. I am honored to lend you my sword. You're an RPer, aren't you? Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Chawa! 
Head to the save shop before going on an adventure. Talk to the save shop clerk and choose save to save your progress. Oh, wow. I have frame rate. This is amazing. The chaos gate. Oh, sure, that just sounds great. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose Warp Menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose Courageous from your stock. Courageous. Engaging. Daydream. Okay. Now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Well, at least it kicks you right into something instead of, you know, spending an hour talking. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. This is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. This is our mission. Collect number of symbol fragments required for this area. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way! Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Transporter returned to town after completing the mission. You can also it's also got a healing function called platform rest, which can be used once in the area. Huh. Okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. If you're unsure where the beast temple is, okay. Nice! We found an altar already. 
Perform a surprise attack by approaching monsters around the altar without being seen and pressing A when target appears. They're ours! Once a battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. <laughs> hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? Alright, release the gauge full charge attacks. Die! Yeah, keep it up. That's it. Just continue fighting like that. Guard. Item menu. Oh. Sometimes treasure chests on top of altars contain fragments needed for the beast temple. Remember, search the treasure chests after defeating the monsters. Click three symbols by opening all the things and use the temple gate. Okay. Alright, we found another altar. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Form a surprise attack. Okay. Slow. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Alright, skills so for SP. Press Y to open the main menu and select a skill. The skill trigger is a shortcut. Right bumper. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade! Gale Blade! Alright, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Rengeki is an advanced skill with an increased amount of inflicted damage to perform Rengeki uses a skill attack on an enemy surrounded by a blue or purple ring. A fair skin when you continuously inflict it with damage. Attack the enemy until surrounded by blue and purple rings. Well, here's the problem with that. My colorblind ass can't tell the difference between blue or purple. So, I guess look for the purple. Favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used or other conditions are met. It raises the morale of your party and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions for favorite action may vary with each party member. There you go. Hmm. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Trigger gauge will appear above the player's head when skill triggers are used. It's not possible to use items or skills until the gauge fills up and the right bumper appears. Well, that's that. Yay. Final altar. Remember what Yoden Asa taught you. Okay. This will be quick. Ah! 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 
Charger symbol, oh boy. Yeah, awesome job. All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Thanks. <gasps> what the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... <laughs> This is my reward! How pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello. <laughs> I swear, just pretend to be their friend and they fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> Hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Huh? 
What the? Welcome to the world. Just like any MMORPG, most people are dicks. Eight months later. That's a time skip. I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, 
You think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> okay, so where exactly am I starting this game off at? Like, hey, welcome to the game. Oh, you got PK'd after one zone. Well, guess what? Eight months later, you've become Captain Edgelord McEdgy. So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. The terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. <coughs> players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki. And I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Uh, Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. It's just a game! Do you always interrupt people like that? Fuck off. You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> Shino. Huh? What? Atoli. Do you know this person? Uh, no. Atoli. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey, you. Why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta Hidden Forbidden Waterfall. Waiting at R.K. Keln. But who sent it? <gasps> Ovan! Remember what I said about not taking an hour for the game to start? I'm starting to take Just that back! Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. Yeah, and you're a pretentious cunt, so shut the fuck up. Oh boy, I got a card. Ovan. It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong. A lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. You, where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. 
I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino... Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Meanwhile, the real-life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes. But that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime? You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The Holy Ground's Cathedral. Yes, finally. I'll get my chance. I swear I'll bring Shino back. I'll do it, Ovan. Yes. You and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. He will be back today at the scene of the crime. Triage is coming here. They say there used to be a statue of a girl here. A girl? That's right. She was called Aura. I wonder, why'd she disappear? Who knows? Maybe she just lost her interest. Lost hope for this world. sound. Yeah! <laughs> 
What the hell? What the hell are you? This guy killed Shino. It's not over yet! So is he dead or did he just get Samus Arand? <clears throat> um. Huh? What the? I was fighting Tri Edge, but then. Damn it, I can't remember. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Reformatted? What's going on? What about my emails? Huh? What the hell? I would never delete these. They're all gone? Even the emails I got from Shino. Everything's been reformatted. What the hell is going on? An email? Fine, let's take a look. Ovan? Two paths. One will lead to safety and shame. It's a path where you give up in the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. That's a path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Let me be blunt. The latter path is torturous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you choose it, there will be no turning back. If you still wish to walk this path, there will come a time when you and I will meet once again in the world. And when that time comes, I will once again say, say this to you. Welcome to the world. Trial and truth. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then, I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what! Syndrome. This is Salvador Ihara's Online Jam. We investigate the hottest controversies in today's news. The in your face, hard hitting show. Welcome to Online Jam. Okay, get ready, all you netizens out there. Today's Jack target is Doll Syndrome. Have you heard of it? It's the mystery illness that's spreading like wildfire among grade schoolers. It causes verbal and mental defects that leave victims non-responsive. That's right, this disease turns children into lifeless dolls, oh no! But we'll fight back. 
to combat this earth-shattering crisis, we at Online Jack started an investigation. I, Salvador Ihara, will save the world! It's called Doll Syndrome, a truly mysterious illness. Some scientists tell us the cause is endocrine-disrupting chemicals, but what I want to showcase here is this book. Internet games are turning our kids into dolls. A warning about doll syndrome. Taichiro Sugai, a professor from Takeuma University, wrote the book and lives here. According to his book, doll syndrome's root cause is none other than online games. Online games, famous games such as the world, perhaps. I love them too, but he says that online games and their more than 12 million participants all living out their virtual dreams are the cause. You'll remember that several years ago, the world game was found to be responsible for players being put into a coma. Could it be that it's also causing the dreaded doll syndrome? Are these online games nothing but a blight upon our society? If the professor feels that way, then let's see what he has to say. Let us begin the interview. What do you want? You know how late it is? Hey there, I'm the host of Online Jack, Salvador Ihara. I have a few questions about your book, Online Games Are Turning Our Kids Into Dolls, A Warning About Doll Syndrome. Hmm. Huh. Ah, can you believe this guy? Open up, Professor Sugai. We want to talk to you. You've just come to make fun of my book, haven't you? Get away from here! If you don't explain yourself on camera, sir, you'll make yourself look even more suspicious. I don't have to explain myself. All I did was publish the results of my own independent research. Ha, you say independent research. But isn't it true that your sources themselves are questionable? Not as questionable as you! Well then, prove to us that your sources are credible! If you do, we won't bother you anymore, Professor. Go! Give me a break. Who would believe you? And another thing, I'm an associate professor! Okay. Well, we were turned down by associate professor Sugai, but to follow our own independent research, we went undercover into the very elementary school that Sugai was investigating. This is the elementary school where associate professor Sugai was conducting his study on doll syndrome. Is a killer disease stalking the children of this ordinary elementary school? Let's take a look. Hmm. Hey there, boys and girls. There's no need to fear. Salvador Ihara is here. Who are you? We're in the middle of class. Oh, what is this vision of loveliness that graces our presence? Hello, Senorita. What? You and I can save the world together. Viva Salvador! Get out of here, you creep! Here we are in the teacher's lounge. I haven't been to one of these since the days when I used to peep under girls' skirts. If you want to film in here, you need to get permission first. But the whole purpose of the show is it's undercover. You entertainment people have no decency. You're so beautiful when you're angry. Stop that. What are you investigating? Doll syndrome. Miss Michiru Tajima, teacher of fourth grade class <gasps> one. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. World R twos. Hmm. Wait. It's an actual... With the participation of Japan and many other countries, the International Space Station, slated for completion in 2017, is nearly done. As large as a soccer stadium, this fully manned facility will be used for various types of research in a deep space environment. Um... 
<clears throat> Does that have anything to actually do with the game? With the participation. Oh. The Online Administration Act received a majority vote of the ruling party, meaning the adoption of the citizen numbering system seems to be inevitable. As a result, the process of converting to an electronic government has overcome its final hurdle. That seems horrible. I'm not even going to bother reading that. Display your world. For business or for entertainment, the new M2D Micro Monocle Display now on sale. Once you're freed from your mobile, the net opens up in front of your eyes. The supersonic passenger jet, ASST, which can attain speeds of over Mach 3, has been officially commissioned. As a result, the amount of time it takes to fly from Tokyo to New York has been shortened from 14 hours to just four hours. In the old days, when people thought of an online junkie, they envisioned someone locked in their room, glued to their computer 24 hours a day. But today, due to radical improvements in mobile devices, network games can be enjoyed outside and have given rise to a whole new breed of online junkies. Playing too long? Long? Hmm. Shit happened. Ubiquitous. Does the news have anything to actually do with the game? Honestly, I play games to have fun, and that is why I don't play online games, is because people are assholes, and yeah, so, fuck them. Oh yeah, I gotta like, check this, wait. What? There, I mean, there you go. 
That person has a, you know, if there's a no PvP server and I'm playing with friends, I will play on the no PvP server because fuck you, leave me alone. Oh yeah, I should probably check all these. In case I get... I guess I have to check the forums to get words to go to places, I, I guess... Delta Buzzing Wrath's pu Puddle. Or Water Puddle. Okay, so I do need to check this crap. Oh, okay, I can just press that and... Seems like the fucking net system in Front Mission 3. Where it's just kind of like, I get it, it's world building, but. Booga Booga? this no Yeah, I got, I got Samus, didn't I? Well, that's fine, because, like I said, this is the first time I've ever had an opportunity to play a dot .hack game, so... It's just kind of like... Like, okay, what's going on? Eight months later, okay... He became an edgelord because he got PK'd. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? News capture. suffered a huge fire in 2015, CyberConnect Japan's new home office has now been completed. Subsequent investigations determined that a spark from electrical equipment led to the blaze two years earlier, resulting in multiple deaths and injuries. was discovered that the three armed youths who were responsible for the recent school riot were devoted online gamers. Bad Following this discovery, public criticism of online games increased sharply. That has no connection. 
Are you sure they weren't being picked on? Savagely? Oh, wait, we already... Creepy, creepy basement. Oh, it's a card game. Oh, fuck that. Some, I'm, not, I'm not interested in card games. Well, anyway. Scratch what I said about being able to play the game within the first hour. Christ. And... But... Okay, we'll get rid of this new bit. What's new? Okay, so when when we come back, we're probably going to have more story to go through. But I have this odd feeling I've been samus Well, hey, at least he's not in a coma. <laughs> Silver lining. I'll catch you guys later. Adios.